It's important, I think, for every citizen to have hope. Because hope is that which sustains the human person. And hope is that which sustains a nation, as a nation. And hope is not just an empty word. It is a desire, the desire by the people that let us work together. Let us rebuild our nation. When I study my Bible and I see the desolation, the despair that the, Isra the Israelites went through when they were conquered by Babylon, taken into exile, people slaughtered and killed, the rem remnant, as I said, shipped to Israel, to, uh, to, Isra to uh, uh, Babylon. When the prophets, both Isaiah and Jeremiah, tried to rekindle their hope that God has not abandoned them, that there is still what? Hope. And after 70 years, they will return and rebuild. Rebuild the temple, rebuild the cities, rebuild the walls. And that there will be abundance of harvest to feed everybody. So this is the word that I want to leave to all Ghanaians, is to say that all is not lost. But then it is not just a or those in government. It is the responsibility of each of us as citizens of Ghana to endeavor, to work together, to rebuild the nation. Each of us should be asking ourselves, what contribution can I make? What contribution I and my family can make? What contribution can this community make? What contribution can all of us as Ghanaians make to rebuild our nation? The work is not for one person. It is too much a load for any one person to do. It is for each of us and all of us together. I call something national interest. And I say national interest is important. National interest is how our country can be forged. If my memory goes me back, at the time of independence, when we were the very first country south of the Sahara to be, attain independence, the enthusiasm, the joy in the people, the, 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 the love, we call it karamadari, the love, the care for one another. That time, even I was a student, so when somebody asked me, which part of Ghana do you come from? I tell them that's completely irrelevant, which party I come from. I am a Ghanaian. I am proud of it. These are my brothers and my sisters. They may be born in other parts of the country, but that's completely irrelevant to the issue. We are Ghanaian. We are proud Ghanaian. And we were so proud that even the British respect us. They respect us because of that pride. So those things should not be lost. There is still hope that we can be a proud nation because the God who loves us so much has endowed us with so much fertile land. Now look at the green around you here. I used to have plantain, banana, and other things there. I used to produce shallots and cabbage. And oftentimes I have so much that I pack them into a car and go around distributing to my friends. Not selling them, distributing to my friends. This is the kind of love that Ghanaians have for one another. And I am sure that if all of us, in our churches, in our mosques, in our towns and our villages, we continue to put this message across to our people, to say that, look, we have to rebuild Ghana. We have to work together in rebuilding Ghana. It's a prosperous country. It can still be prosperous because the land is still there. The fertile land is still there. So I'm trying to encourage all Ghanaians that let us look and determine that 2023 is going to be what? A year of prosperity. Not because somebody in government has promised us, but because we Ghanaians have resolved that it's going to be a prosperous year. A year in which there will be abundance. Abundance of what? Food for everybody to eat. Even the poorest should be able to do what? Eat and be satisfied and enjoy. This is my hope that I'm trying to lead the people. And for those unemployed, I kept encouraging them to say that, please don't tell me you are going around looking for a job. Create the job. 
create the job. People have taken coconut and they transform it into what? Ointments, eh? Ointments for the skin. Even cocoa, the husk can be thrown away. You'd be surprised that those husks can be turned into ointments and even nutrients that can feed the body. So it's a question of just using your imagination. Ask yourself, what can I do? And I'm very sure that if each of us will go to God in prayer and ask, Lord, I'm sure you have given me talent, but I don't know what to do with it. Guide me. I'm sure if you're praying like that, don't go crying to him, lamenting, because sometimes it's our purpose. Or you go with a list or catalog and say, I'm poor. I have no money. Give me money. Uh, government should give me a loan so that I can do something like that. I say, look, if you look at all the rich people in the world, maybe except Trump, all of them, they started from nowhere. And then they build the capital as they go along. The more you endeavor, the more you persevere, the more God will reveal to you what you can do. If I tell you there was a lady, I think, in Kenya, who took these plastic bags that we threw away and transformed it, designed it, is making slippers, shoes, bags out of it. He's not a very wealthy individual. He's not a very wealthy individual. Because he shows you that, as I said, there's no limit as to what each of us can be able to do to improve the economy, even employ people to assist us. I'm saying that Ghanaians are very talented. I'm telling you, as I move around, I see young people, old people, so much talent is there. Ingenuity is there. What they require is nothing more than what? Encouragement. And so our schools and our institutions should give encouragement to the young ones to be what? Productive, to be imaginative, to use their imagination, to produce, to create, and to do things. I'm sure that this is the message that I want to leave Ghana for 2023. It should be a year of hope. Hope should be the slogan. 23 is going to be a year of hope. Let us all hope. The Lord will guide us, who will rebuild this nation from its ashes. It will be a prosperous nation, very prosperous nation. That's what God ordained it to be. Do you know why we were given the Black Star? The Black Star, I know, Krumah Chu Street. Even he, it was Marcus Gavi, who thought of it. But then I asked people, they said, oh, but is the, is the star the star is not light, it's, bl it's black. Ghana is black. The star is yellow, it's color. I say, you've got it wrong. You've got, you didn't study geophysics. Final, the moon is black. But the moon shines by reflected light of the sun. And so Ghana has given us the black star because we are black. But God is going to shine on us so that we become the light for the rest of the continent and for the black race everywhere. So shine, Ghana. Ghana, shine. Ghanaians, shine. Shine brightly. And let the black race everywhere look at us and say, wow, these people, they've done it. They have done it. Yes. And so they also can do it. So this is my message for the people of Ghana. Thank you.